This video is sponsored by Ace Movie Video Editor. Yo guys, it's Esno. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this new easy to use video editor called Ace Movie. Let's just get right into it. From the layout, it already looks similar to a few other videos out there. You got the uh, preview window in the middle, uh, your timeline with all your tracks down at the bottom, and the uh, different effect tabs on the left hand side. We'll dive into those in just one moment, but first, I'm going to show you guys how to download it. So what you guys want to do is go to acemovie.com or go in the link down in the description down below. I will leave it down below. And here is the website right here. So yes, there is a pre-trial and then there are plans. So if you want to code who buy now, there are three plans. You got the one month plan, the lifetime plan, and the one year plan. The lifetime one being the most popular. So if you're looking at buying it, these are the different plans. But to try it out, I recommend the free trial to see if you like it and then you can always buy it after. So to download it, you want to click free trial. It will immediately start downloading down here. It should only take a few moments. Once it's done downloading, you want to click on the arrow and open it. Once you're in this pop-up, you want to accept the agreement and click next. Choose where you want to download it. So this spot is fine for me. Click next. If you want a desktop shortcut on your computer, you can have that checked. And once you're done, click install. Wait for it to install. And there you go. You can launch Ace Movie now. Now guys, I'm going to give you a basic tour of what's going on here. So over here in the import section, this is where you can import all your videos. Once you have your video or clip, you want to drag it down into your timeline, timeline like so. Then you can just click match to media. And there you go, you have your video in your timeline. Also by import, there is a record option to screen record your desktop screen or whatever you have on your desktop. It's just a simple uh, screen recorder uh, inside so that you don't have to use any other program. Over on the left side, you got your stickers and there are so many stickers to choose from. There are a few downloaded like so. I'm going to grab this star right here. It's and tough. there you go, it has a bit of an animation to it for your videos. There are tons more, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you got some firework stuff here. You can also adjust the size of it if you want, like so. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to delete those and move on. Next stickers, you also have some background colors to use from. For background colors, you got the standard colors like black, gray, white, red, etc, etc. You got your background red, which I use for a lot of my intros, so be very cool. You also got more crazy backgrounds like shiny halo, which looks very cool. And there are tons more. Next up is background music, and there are a few here to choose from. You got stuff like advert time. Let's, you can hear this. <laughs> and yeah, there are tons to choose from. You also got your sound effects, and there are a million to choose from. It's so cool. You got your body one. Whoa. You got drink. Yo! Explosion. Literally no need to search up these effects on Google. They're all here, all the ones you want. There you go. Next up, we got the text and the few different text options. You got the default text, uh, the standard, if you want to extend it for the length and you can write whatever you want. All the text features are on the right hand side. So you want to do, uh, let's type in S now right here. And then you got the different fonts right here. Um, you got your color. So let's make this red. Let's go, makes it a bit bigger. You can also change the size, so let's make it like 35. Perfect, different styles, you want it slanted, underlined, etc, etc. The side of what you want it, so if you want it in the middle, the right side. Um, you can also do the text space between, so if I do like five, the space between the text is, oh, the space between the letters increase, so I'll just go back to two. And then the line space, you can adjust that if you want. Also, you can adjust the scale of it, which is just a different version of, you know, doing this. That's the same thing. You can also rotate it all the way around to up to 360 degrees. And you can change positions of where you want it. So if you do like 25, just moves it around. A lot of moving options to help you get your text exactly where you want. For your outlines, you can also do an outline color flash. So I do black right here and change the alpha. There you go. There's a bit of an outline right there. You can also add some shadows. If again, if I do a black shadow and change the offset to like five, and that's too big. You can do two, that's still too big. You can do one, that looks pretty good. Um, but you can also adjust that to like probably like 0. 0.5, that's better. But yeah, you can do a whole lot of messing around with that. Yep, there's also a bunch of other text options like the bubble, which is a cool one. Just as a little text bubble right here. There's also arrows. And this cool one called RQ8, that's how I pronounce it. Basically kind of a ring there can change the scale of that like that. And yeah, the one next to your text is called dynamic. And this is where you choose your animations for your text. So this one is more of a flash where it comes up kind of like a flash. 
There you go. And there's tons to choose from. Uh, you got your fades, you got your slots, you got your right rolls, you got your reveals, your bounces, your beats. Let's try beat. Whoa. I like that. It's kind of like my intro that I use. You got your pop-up words. There you go. There's tons and they're all amazing. Next up is filters and there are a bunch of filters yet again to choose from. This cool explosion one looks kind of neat. There you go for your like montages or videos, whatever you're doing. Uh, there's tons. There's also overlays, which are very similar, but more just of this one moves through it. I think. Oh yeah, that's cool. you got your little layers. That is sick. Watercolor. Let's check this one out. Oh yeah, these ones change. These are really cool. The overlays. All right, next up, you got your transitions. So there is once again a million to choose from. You got your standard ones like slide right. Oh, we got, we need another clip here. Let's do, yeah, let's bring in the split gate one. All right, let's get some slide right one right there. The worst. Perfect. Wait, wait. You got your more crazy going ones like this. Let's actually check out this. Let's make it a bit longer. It's always the worst. That is cool. Probably better if you shorten this one, to be honest. It's always the worst. There you go. But yeah, there's tons here. We got some grid zoom ins. Let's try this. It's always the worst. Ooh. Yeah, once again, a million to choose from that you guys can check out for yourself. Next up, we got some animations here, and they are actually really unique the way that they are. So you want, for example, the shift left, you just put it on your clip here and all the stuff's on the right hand side. So it pops up like that. that and you can also change like change the acceleration. So I'm guessing this will make it quicker. Is yeah. Yes, it does. You can change the loop count. So let's make it let's make it five times. There's one, two, yeah. and five. There you go. But yeah, you can also put it on loop and stuff like that. There are a few duration settings right here. So so let's take this off. You can click the X to remove it, which is very easy to do. So you get some radar. That's very cool. Like an actual radar. You got some other stuff here. Zoom bounce. So let's remove this one and add zoom bounce. Oh, that's it. I got some in and outs. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then you got your motions up top, which these you can choose uh, when they're going on. So if you want to zoom in at 10 seconds, you can have zoom in at 10 seconds. So they're basically, it's basically motion tracking or keyframing. If you want it to come in at like five, you can do that. So there you got five. It's starting to come in like that perfect perfect so yeah if you want to zoom out slide in there are a bunch to choose from you can also do a fade in right here so let's do that let's do a few second fade in and it's cool because you can choose the exact duration with these bad boys it's not like they're presetted you can choose them to fit your video the way you want second last is your original which is just more effects if you want a mosaic on your screen you know a mosaic will come up you can change the scale of it so change on the on the right side you can also change the position which is just you know more sizing and also strength which is you know very important the more pixels uh you know harder to see obviously also different ones right here like magnify which you know magnifies it zooms it in more obviously to see things better so you know you want to see your your hud better you know do this make it bigger like that perfect and last but not least, uh, you got your split screens. So if you want, if you have multiple tracks, so let's move this on top of each other. So let's say you want half and half. Oops, half and half. Just put it right on top. You got your this to be one and this to be two. You click OK. Oh, before that, you got your brightnesses and stuff like that. But if all that is good, you click OK. And there you go. You got some simple split screen out of the way so let's just have this for a second so yeah that's your split screens let's move these back for uh for now i didn't mean to do that but yeah right here if you want to click on your clip you got some more uh, options right here the first one being to get rid of it completely like that so yeah we don't want that but if you wanted that you can do that the second one being copy so if you want to copy something you got it right there and the paste right there you can also do Control c and v if you want to do it that's much easier to do um, but yeah, you got a button there, which is really convenient for some people. Also, you got your delete, you know, gets it deleted out of here. The next one being split. Oh yeah, you got to get it right on top. There's your little splits if you want to split your tracks. You can also do control B to do your splits. Um, but yeah, you got a little icon there. Next one is speed. You can tell by the lightning bolt, you know, speed symbol. You can do custom speed or you got some presets right here. Slow for a few options, fast for a few options. And you know, if you want to go back to normal. 
you can do whatever you want. So let's, if you wanted this 2.3 for some random reason, let's do 2.3. Click OK and everything is extremely sped up. If you want to undo or redo anything uh, on the left side, so this is your undo, this is your redo, simple as that. Next up, I believe, is keyframing. So yeah, as you see, there are presets of keyframing right here for people that you want, you know, want to use the presets. But if you just you know want to do your own stuff, you can add a keyframe there, and then you know do whatever you want. So for your keyframing, you want to go to wherever you want and make an adjustment in your video. I'm just gonna make it small, for in a quick example, and you know add the add a keyframe by clicking that. Go ahead a few frames, add another keyframe, and then you know make your change however you want. So I'm gonna make it back to big again, like so. And if you see this arrow, you know you've done it correctly. So as you see, it gradually gets bigger until it's together again. Yeah, just so you have more customization in your keyframes. Next up, you got your cropping, which is standard cropping. I'm gonna pause this. So over here, you got your preview. So if you want to make a adjustment right here, you can see what you're doing. So if I wanted to just aim down at your, you know, your HUD over here, there you go, zoomed in, click OK, and there's your new video. If you want to adjust it even more, make it full screen or whatnot, you can do that. If you want to undo the change you made, you want to click back to your crop option and, you know, grab your little thing and make it full screen once again and make sure it's the right resolution and click OK. You also got for your timeline a little slider here to zoom in and zoom out on your timeline. So it's really helpful to, you know, move around and make it the size you want. And then to the left of that, you got your marker, which, you know, to place a marker on your timeline is just, you know, by clicking the marker. Oh uh, yeah, just to let you know if you have a part in a video that you want to do, you know, you mark it so you know where it is. In the right, you got your video, audio, and color settings. So in video, you can flip the thing around. Uh, any, any way you really want to be honest you can change the opacity of the video like so you can even rotate it better and more like the way you exactly want if you want to do that you got your scale right here oops you also got your blending mode which you can blend it with other videos so let's say this track was on top like this you can click lighten and you can kind of see both and stuff like that you can also do multiply and you can see that as well in audio, it's the basic audio settings. You got your volume, you can raise it to 200. The default is 100. You got your pitch, raising the pitch to make the, you know, your audio or voice, whatever. You got your fade-ins, which are really important, which I love and I use all the time in any of my videos. So let's just zoom in at the beginning of this video. And let's say I don't want the audio to start right away. You can do this like five seconds. So the audio slowly comes in over a five second span. Like that. You got your fade outs, which are equally as important. And you got your denoise to try to remove any background audio. So let's crank this up to minus 200 and listen. Really good. It's a video game. So, I mean, there's no really background audio, but it does a really good job of that. You also got an equalizer for different modes for your audio. So, I. So, you got like pop and stuff like that, which, you know, change it to that theme. You got, you got your soft as well. Ooh, soft sounds nice. Lastly is color, which, you know, changes all the color settings. So you got your standard brightness, standard is 100. You can even make it, you can make it darker or, you know, crank up to 400, which, you know, you can't really see anything. But yeah, you can raise up and down if your video is too bright or too dark, you can change, adjust it like that. You got your saturation, which makes it really saturated. I kind of like that, it looks really nice. Or, you know, if you want it gray, you can do that as well. You also got your contrast. You got your contrast and hue, which, you know, changes to color, the color to crazy things. For your preview window here, you got obviously you got your play and pause, you got your stop and stuff like that, your back and forth. Over here, you got your time. You also got the quality in which it's in, so if you want it less quality, you can reduce it like that. Um, the lowest being, you can't really see anything. But if your computer is running slowly, that's perfect for that. You can also take a picture of that. So if you click that, it is a snapshot. So you can see up in your import section. So if you want it in your video, there you go. This is a still frame that you can put anywhere you want. Really easy, just, you know, snap picture and it adds up right there. You also got your volume of your preview like so. And if you want it in a tab, you can also do that as well. And if you want a full screen, you know, hit that full screen button and watch your video in full screen. Oops. All right, if we have time to fit this in, I'm gonna show you a little Fortnite uh, montage effect, which I'm sure probably you guys probably know already. I said probably way too much in that sentence. But anyway, uh, it is a timing map. So if you've already seen this, maybe skip ahead, but it is a 
easy clean effect. So what you want to do if you're making a Fortnite montage on this software is go for the kill right as your shotgun kind of pulls up like that and you want to click split so you can click the split. There you go as it splits right there and then you want to go ahead another few frames to where you kind of shoot your gun so you want to frame before that. There's the bullet so if you go frame before that that's perfect and you want to split that. Next, for the last cut, you want to go to your when your eliminated guy comes up, so about this frame, so you can see the name pretty big, like that. So there you go. Split that again. Now you got three. We should have done this before, but we'll do it now. So what you want to do is click on each of the individual tracks and click Detach Audio. That just detaches the audio into a little by itself. We're nearing the end here, guys. So what you want to do is for your first part, you want to go to speed, that little lightning bolt up here. And oh, before you do that, uh, I should move these over just so this has its own thing. So yeah, slow and 0.5. There you go. You can move these back right there. For your middle one, you want to go to speed. You want to make it four times fast like so. And the last one, you want to make it 0.5 times slow. Once you got all that, it should look something like this. So it goes slow, fast, slow. For some few other things, we're going to add some background music, better or less a song, so we can use digits for this one. We're also going to remove the background audio because I have my own little uh, sound effect I'm going to use. I'll leave these in the description down below if you guys want as well, um, just so it's easier. Alright, this is my shotgun sound effect, so what you want to do is line it up right as the shotgun kind of goes off here. It's a little off, but I think that's all right for now. There we go. We're going to line up to where the volume peaks. There you go. All right, with the song lined up perfectly, here it is. Not bad. It kind of freezes because it is in the editor, but that's what exporting is for. So once you're done with your video, you want to click export and this is the export page. So what you want to do is name it. So I'm going to name, uh, just, you know, Ace Movie Vid, because why not? I mean, you probably want to keep all of this the same, but for resolution, you can change the resolution from high uh, quality, uh, small file size and custom doing. But yeah, there are different custom resolutions, frame rates and stuff like that. But if you don't want to mess with that, I mean, high quality is the way to go. That's, you know, the best quality. You can also change your format and there are a million to choose from. You got your standard MP4 uh, and stuff like that to DVD videos and stuff like that and WebM. For device, you can change what device you want this to be seen on. So if you want this to be seen perfectly on an iPhone 12, it will match the resolution and screen size to that. But if you just want it on your computer or whatnot, Maybe you want to post this on YouTube, NP4 is the way to go. In web, you can also upload it straight to YouTube, Facebook, Venmo, etc. Straight from the editor so you don't have to download it. But for today's video, we're just going to download it. So once you're all set and done, you want to click that export button. And this is where you want, if you want to buy Ace Movie, go for it uh, and buy it. Um, but if you don't, as of right now, you just want to click continue. And now it is exporting. Once it exports, this is what it would say. So if you want to find your video and your files, you want to click find target. Once it's done, you want to open your video, and here it is. Whoa, I totally forgot to trim it. It is 2 minutes 45 because of the song, but that's okay. You also got your small watermark in the top right, which, you know, it's not that big, so it's actually not that bad, I, in my opinion. But here is our video. Looks very clean, and there you go. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this video did help you guys out. Make sure to subscribe to me and also 8's movie. Check out their YouTube channel in the description down below. And it'll also be on screen in a moment uh, for my outro. They do a bunch of other tutorials on their editors, so if you want to learn more about them, uh, their channel is the way to go. I also really like this video editor. It is extremely easy to use, and if you're just picking up a video editor for the first time, this is definitely a video editor to choose. It is really easy to start with, and yeah. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, take care, and peace.